Hi, in this slide I want to get across a very narrow but important concept of the difference between continuous improvement or fine-tuning the past um, as opposed to transformational change. Uh, and by example, somebody might come along and say, gee, your business is really good. It's like a finely tuned cat. The problem is, is that given how the environment's changing, the customers want you to be able to bark. And so, you know, you think, well, you know, I don't want to keep it simple here and so forth. And incremental thinking would be, well, I'm going to take the voice box out of the cat and I'm going to take a dog's voice box and stick it in there. I'm going to give a voice box transplant. And then you realize that the the dog's voice box cores are quite a bit bigger and, and stronger and stiffer, coarser, and they need a lot more air coming from the lungs to make the cords vibrate and make a noise because cats have very tiny, tiny lungs. Of course, that allows them to slink through, you know, narrow little places and so forth. And so you need bigger lungs. You think, well, okay, well, I guess I can need a lung transplant, but then the, that means you need a bigger rib cage, and then you start having more body mass, you need a bigger, you know, bone structure, and so forth. Basically, what it's really saying is, if you need to bark, you've got to get a dog. Now, the problem is 99% of the protoplasm that's in the cat could be reincorporated in the dog, but it's a total, it's a total, it's a total disassemble, reassemble, a reweaving of the kinetic chain, if you will, to make that happen. So if I say to a sales rep, look, historically, we have been financially uh, product-centric volume-oriented, and we have rewarded you for getting margin dollars from any and everybody, whether the cost to serve was less or more than the margin dollars. Well, now we want the cost to serve to be less so we can make a profit sooner or later on every customer. There's some customers that just can't even support outside sales coverage. So they have to be assigned to a new division that's got a very skinny down different service model uh, with unbundled uh, services that for which fees are charged and so forth. And to get bigger share of customer, we're going to have to get past the fair share rule and say, look, why don't you marry me? And, you know, give me all the business so that we can then work on the inner business process and get the cost to serve and the TPC way down to allow you to have lower price and get better total service economics, supply chain economics. Well, that, you know, that we, that we don't do that incrementally. We have to change the territory. We have to change your skill sets. We have to change uh, how we go to market and all, all sorts of things. So those are the kinds of changes that are starting to confront us to realize, oh my gosh, we can't just take what we've always had and tweak it a little bit, rearrange the furniture of the Titanic. The boat's going down. We need a different hull. We need a different map, a different route. We've got to get away from the icebergs. I mean, we've got bigger issues that we have to deal with here. So that's the difference between incremental uh, fine-tuning of the past or the status quo and, and reinvention in a, in a transforming way, going from product push to demand replenishment is a, is a big force that we have to deal with now. So let's look at selling skills levels of the game. Thank you.